It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So you could become part of EB but but Family. I mean, thank you, Kahuna, for the request. I appreciate you. You requested this a long time ago. We've done part one. Uh, I keep getting comments, like nonstop comments about, come on, do part two, part two, part two, part two. So I'm ready for it. Shout out to uh, EJ Power, I believe, that I think it was him that hit me up um, on Messenger, and he's seen our reaction. And he's actually, Flip Top is his name, I guess. He's the Philippines battle rapper in this battle. So appreciate that. And now we are finally here. So now I can finally get to it. Because I've been saying, I'm going to try to get to it today. I'm going to try to get to it today. And I've been clearly lying, but it wasn't supposed to be a lie. <laughs> I was trying to get to it. But, you know, we get requests and that's how it works on the channel. So we're here. So EJ Power, Cali Smooth, Philippines versus USA. Right now, Philippines is winning, in my opinion, from the part one. Um, for the people that are in the live right now. You're not really going to be caught up on the part one unless you've seen the reaction. But, but, you can always go back and watch the reaction. But I have EJ Power or Flip Top. I have him 1 0 right now. So, we're starting right where we left off. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, I don't even give a fuck. That was, that was good for, for if that was his first language. But, I, I think you speak English first. <laughs> anyway, Cali Smooth. <laughs> all right, all right. Fight back. Only, come on, man. And we are going to make it three parts. Because I'm at nine minutes. So I'm going to do probably another nine minutes. And then we'll finish it. Um, so we'll do the part three. Which will be about seven, six or seven minutes left. Right? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. No, we might just finish it out. Actually, we're we're gonna just finish it out because that's only six minutes. We're gonna finish. It. Are you, so you really from the Philippines? Chill out, please. Thank you. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. So you really from the Philippines? <clears throat> that's my question. You said I won't get you. That. You only got 17 million views in seven battles. All right, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you all the way out in America. So all the, all the flip toppers. You got to be the baddest one. Now you about to get hung over them views like Michael Jackson's son. Oh, oh, damn. Wait, you about to get hung over the views like Michael Jackson's son? What am I missing here? I know about Michael Jackson, but I didn't know. Did Michael Jackson have a son that did that to himself? He did what, what my brother did? You guys know about that. Uh, I, I do not know about Michael Jackson. I don't know about, I didn't even know Michael Jackson had kids. I don't even think Michael Jackson does have kids. So that part confuses me. Hung over them views like Michael Jackson's son. Oh. Off the dome, man. Off to him. Off to him. I'm spazzing. For fam, I won't need to grab a gun. I'm battle rats Bruce Lee the way I'm dragging, son. Let's go. That was the one. That was dope. I don't know much about your culture, and I don't know if you know much about ours. I just know y'all can roast a whole pig in under an hour. <laughs> Power, I am not the one to play with. I will turn that hostile that you stay in to a hostile situation. Ooh. I ain't worried about your rounds. I think point. all your shit is basic. But if he do start winning, then I'm calling immigration. <laughs> Even though he's already winning at this point. He is up. Oh, so in my opinion, it is 1-0 right now. <laughs> so... That far, he should have already called immigration at that time if he said that because he's not winning right now. I said if he do start winning, then I'm calling immigration. Casey, they told me I need to start taking bigger names. I ain't think you, power. 
Think Nas. They told me to be the shot and I gave you power. Sour by the ounce. Power. I ain't taking it back. Made tax in every city like the Patriot Act. When I'm stating this facts, let's go riot. Four fives on both sides like your island. I ain't saying where you came from is the most violent, but on behalf of the U.S., we willing to trade Manny Pacquiao for Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. That's all. All right. Wait. Or are willing to trade Manny El Manny El Pacquiao? Yes, that's a fact. Take it. Yes, I, I had to make sure he was saying that right. I had to make sure he was saying we're willing to get rid of Joe Biden. I rock with fucking Cali Smooth. Yep. Hey, yep. I'll take Pacquiao. Bring Pacquiao over here. Joe Biden, you take his ass over there. You guys can have it. <laughs> Sour by the ounce. I ain't taking it back. Made tax in every city like the Patriot Act. But he went the whole time talking about the Let's America and the Four fives islands, on the both sides five. like your island. I ain't saying where you came from is the most violent, but on behalf of the U.S., we willing to trade it's Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao for Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, like, y'all political figures got hands, hands. <clears throat> Like hands, hands. I literally Back. seen him win. Next thing you know, they stay sent it gonna be BJ Pins. <laughs> I been thinking you lost. No, Get hit with an ox. Is he your president? It's only right you fit in a box, and that's the difference. But when niggas put that up in their bars and the feeling, when you hear a nigga that's really cut from the claw. Uh, Smooth. All right, come on now. Go. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, that must be his signature thing. That's really cut from the claw. Cause at the end they said zoom. So I'm thinking, does he say that a lot? Like, I'm, I, again, I'm not immersed in battle rap whatsoever. I think this is dope. Um, I like the concept of it. And it's real cool to me. I just like beats. I, I love beats, you know? And if, if things are acapella too, I like acapella. Like when Eminem is doing acapella, like on campaign speech and things like that. Well, that's not really acapella. But in a way, it kind of is. Or like the shady cipher. Like I can, I can, I rock with ciphers. Battle rap. I don't like the whole crowd aspect of it because it takes away from what I'm trying to listen to a lot. Uh, but this was definitely. It's still cool and fun to check out. But I probably won't be super immersed or ever be super immersed in. The battle rap community. I've been thinking you lost. Get hit with an ox. Is he your president? It's only right you fit in a box. And that's the difference. But when niggas put that up in their bars and the feeling, when you hear a nigga that's really cut from the claw. Uh -huh. Smooth. All right, come on now. Go. Come on now. Come on now. I don't know, but who is she? Before he gets into it, who is she right here? Where is she at? Right there. She is cool. That see, if I was there, if I was at this thing, I'd probably be over there trying to flirt with her <laughs> the whole time. Probably wouldn't even be listening to none of the bars if I was here. To the J Power, get on the hot Damn it, dude. It did this last. It always does this to me. I, yeah, I want the English. I just want English. Just English. Please. I need to. Hablo mejor en español, puto, que tú no más pretendes. you before having a go. Attacking my flow will feel like countering a throw from Patrick Mahomes. I don't need no interpreter ho just to kill you with the language I know. Cause all these Los Angeles folks will surely understand when I say poo pan in a You see what I'm saying? His energy is just fire. Like his energy, he's playful with it too. The so, Kelly Smooth was playful with it as well. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little biased at this point because I just like his energy. Like his energy, the way he goes about setting up his punchlines, I rock with it. Los Angeles folks will surely understand when I say poo pan in a mall. Because he's claiming he's 
part Hawaiian, part Native American, part black, part Mexican. Wow. So you got a lot of different DNA parameters? <laughs> no, it sounds like your mom's pussy got tossed around by the United Nations in battle. Oh. <laughs> and he rides DNA uh, parameters <laughs> with, with, what did he rhyme it with? When he ended the punchline with, I'm gonna go back and hear the word, but he, he rhymed parameters. Like, what the hell? And DNA parameters? <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds like your mom's pussy got tossed around by the United Nations ambassador. Oh. Oh. he came out with some birth defects while my strength is made up of cordyceps. I am a product of worthiness while he is a product of orgy sex. <laughs> and that's why he realized to live this decent life because he's always bragging how his ethnicity divides. The only problem that gets by, he missed the part of being white. And that's the reason why you can't shoot kids inside your wife. <laughs> Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah, he take that shit personal. I, hey, he, he, he took that one personal for real. Uh, so what? Can Callie Smooth... What, he can't have kids? He can't have kids or something? Like, he can't... He can't give kids? I don't know. But all I know is his... Uh, that was a personal-ass shot. But I don't know any of the background to that bar. But I do know that... Uh, Flint Top is over here literally flipping everything because Callie Smooth took the whole approach of, of like going at his uh, race and going at his culture and he did that through the whole entire battle. So he's doing it back and he's flipping it and that and that's how he's rebuttaling everything. And that's when he realized hey, Greg, to live this hey, decent uh -huh. life because he's always bragging how he's ethnicity yeah, yeah. divides. The only problem that gets by, he missed the part of being white. And that's the reason why you can't shoot kids inside your wife! Damn! Oh, this is work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so cringy. Stop rapping about your personal life in such a lousy fashion. And stop doing this <laughs> just to get a fucking crowd reaction. <laughs> Because all you do is rap about your tragic life that is quite pathetic. Balance himself poorly like he's using a leg prosthetic and then drop himself too low like an anorexic. All of that without using bars, just his whack aesthetic and then out of a sudden jump off, now he's energetic. Lift himself up with his arms extended, now that's expected. No wonder why the word that rhymes with calisthenic was calisthenics. And I, and I don't give a fuck if you're a book author. I don't want to hear your shitty <laughs> stories, and <laughs> reading books for me is... Ouch. Huh? And I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you're a book author. I don't want to hear your shitty stories, and reading books for me is not extremely enormous, because my wisdom and knowledge came from my experience and morals, but if y'all want to see me finish a book, then give me the thesaurus. If you want to get to see me finish a book, then give me the thesaurus. I thought he said the source at first. I'm like, why the fuck would you say the source? <laughs> that magazine's been and done. Uh, and we don't rock with Benzino's ass on this channel. But he said, give me a thesaurus. Wanna see me finish a book? Then give me the source. I always stay hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Oh, yeah. now I feel crazy. Yo, now I feel the every year of my sympathetic nerve spreading words from Heisenberg. I take back all the credits earned. Do you think in this country we are slaves? Boy, the world's already turned. You normalize Filipinos being maids. Well, now you're getting served. Woo! You normalize Filipinos being maids, but now you're getting served. And if you're a maid, you're serving things. That, yeah, that was, that was a fire punchline. Like, and that's the one thing about uh, Battle Rap that I do, like, 
Um, I, I love how it's constant punchline. Punch, punchline after punchline after punchline. Like, that's really cool. I just wish they didn't have the whole crowd aspect. It'd make, for me, it'd make it so much better. Finos being made, well, now you're getting served. Woo! I always give my everything on every battle. This is my future at stake. So facing me on my prime is a brutal mistake. And if you really want this battle to have a language in their culture uptake, he ended it with Google Translate, and I did hear him say translate. And I wish the um um uh uh damn it's starts with, her name starts with a C. Kahuna, you know who I'm talking about. I wish she was here. She could tell me what that means. Or Mary Stella, she could tell me exactly what. He was saying the language like in their culture uptake. Magrebat ka sa Tagalog ng walang Google Translate. Yo, yo, yo. Kelly. Alright, check it out, check it out. Come on, Kelly. I'm gonna do something a little different this round. That's good with y'all? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. To me, it's respectable that you came here to expand your stock. <clears throat> In your city, kids get a rush off power lines like static shock. Whoa. Millions of people look up to you, and you got your pad on lock. They would die for the opportunities that they glad you got. Mm. Power. Do you understand you have the opportunity of a lifetime just because you write rhymes? It's kids back home dying. You out here trying on new white wines. Understand, we got like minds. I put my people on my back. When they see Mexicans as competition, I made them believe that we can rap. Mm. Yeah. There's so much cap about where you from. They barely know E. I see your fans in the stands. They don't care they nose bleeds. If I feel a sense. I see the fans in the stands. They don't care that nose bleeds. What is he talking about? What is he talking Because he said the fans in the stands. So I'm assuming. That had something to do with M and then the nosebleeds, because I know that M on the song Higher said something about or was it higher? No, no, no. It was on um it was on uh No Regrets. And he was like, but they want to see me give nosebleeds. So I'm thinking maybe that's where he got my that people from. on my back. When they ain't see Mexicans as competition, I made them believe that we can rap. Mm. Oh. Yeah. It's so much cap mm. about where you from. They barely know E. I see your fans in the stands. They don't care they nosebleeds. If I feel a sense of disrespect, I'm going to tear your whole scene. America known for making open carry. The Philippines known for making karaoke. <laughs> wait, wait. The America known for open carry. The Philippines known for carry open. I'm trying to get it. Damn. I don't get it. For carry open? I still don't get it. Is that supposed to be like a uh, like a pregnancy type of bar? That's the only way I could look at how that goes. I don't know what the carry open bar would mean. What does that mean? Uh, they're now? great at it. Great at it. <laughs> <laughs> carry oh, open. Yeah, Bro, please, your whole man. team would get Swiss cheese. If beams from six feet like Ripley's, tip me. This pimp squeak would be like six Ripley's? feet. Lift heat and make mix me got a Gen Z. I know this boy is a coward. If you hear our minimum wage, your skipper's return flight and be employed in the hour. Stop avoiding the fact. Stop avoiding the fact. I picked this battle and told you name your price. So you ain't gotta witness me get the message out. When you literally watching me change your life. Oh. Yeah. Talk. Talk to you literally watching oh, me change no. your life. I lived a dangerous life, but you came from a broken scene. Battle map made you the first without your family tree to travel overseas. The doors that's open, leave. This ain't about a victory. To y'all, it's another battle. To us, it's hip hop history. Yeah. Look, sometimes you gotta go three rounds without pulling the weapon out. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice bars to get the message out. That's a fact. Hey, I rock with that. Like, I rock with his mindset, I would say. I'd say for the battle itself, because he, he's more talking. Like, this would be great if, if he probably does a lot of, like, uh, I don't like political type of rap, you know, his content is probably not, not, not super political, you know, but more of like how Tom McDonald does songs, you know, 
Maybe that's the type of lane that he does if he ever were to make a song, and it would be fire, because uh, I, I respect his mindset a lot. But as far as the battle itself, he's like taken away from the battle part to talk more about the message, like he just said. And I think that's cool, but uh, at a different time and a place, not in the middle of a battle. I sacrifice know? bars to get the message out. <laughs> Since he came all the way from the Philippines, my clips hanging, or the fifth banging, hit his rib cages if I slant it like your friend's faces. Talk to him nice like that. Talk to him. I'm sitting by your deathbed, but playing oldies got me impatient. Listening to your heartbeat compete with, listening to your pacemaker compete with the heartbeats like the Temptations. Yeah. The pacemaker listening to your heartbeat like the Temptations. Uh, obviously, I know the Temptations. I don't know what that goes with. I'm guessing or it's one of them. That from the Temptations is one of them uh, on a pacemaker now. And that's the difference for when niggas put that up in their bars and the feeling when you hear a nigga that's really cut from, from the cloth. Oh, so oh, oh, oh. yeah. Yo! Get him. You know what Ryan should callous move? What? what? He looks like the fucking dude who sang the song. Baby, baby, you're my sun and moon. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know this song. This nigga is so yeah. Spanish. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I don't know what song he's talking about. What song? Is he? Yeah. You look like Borat. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker always asking for a little respect like Aretha. Claims to be an activist like but Aretha act Franklin? like a bitch ass diva. Oh. Self proclaimed alpha male but almost beat up by Prestevia. <laughs> I'm just saying smooth between you and me. I'm the real. You guys get where he was going with that. <laughs> That was cool how he was able to like think of that and go mm, and pause like that in the middle of that. That that's cool. Like me, I could probably never be. I, I definitely have like talk shit bars. I could do that all day long. I love talking shit. I wish my job full time was talking shit. That would be the best job I ever possibly had. <laughs> um, but in a battle like that, I don't know if I'd be able to think of things quick and off the top of my head to add like my personality into it. Like add the funniness, have people like how he just did that. You know, that's gonna make the scene, that's gonna make the crowd interact with you. Um, it's gonna make the crowd like, like what's happening right here. You know, I don't, it'd be hard for me to put my personality into anything when, uh, when doing battle rap. That's why, even though I say it's not really my thing, I respect the hell out of it because I know this is not easy to do. Uh, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of, like, you got to be very witty, very quick with it. Um, so I respect it. Just not my thing to really, I, I don't know. It's not really my thing. He <laughs> <laughs> like that he ain't got the pass. Thanks. Yo, Thanks, you know this <laughs> and stop bragging about how smooth you is on being a lady killer. You already got a lady, fool. Stop asking me to get you a Filipina. <laughs> That's a fact. I want a damn Filipina. I've been saying that forever. I need to find me a damn Filipina, a Filipino, Filipino woman. That's what I'm looking for. Or a Korean woman. Either or. <laughs> and stop Either bragging or. about how smooth you is on being a lady killer. But yeah, I agree. You already I got a lady, fool. Like... Stop asking me to get you a Filipina. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, he getting mad. He giving me that angry look. I dare you to move, callous move. Switch on your aggressive mood. Act like a bitch, I'll fix your attitude. Throw that Hawaiian punch, I'll give you a sandy hook. But, oh, but, oh, but no need for gun bars, I don't have to shoot my brother, cause 
These two hands are enough to make your two eyes shudder Or grab a baseball bat and swing high like Luke Skywalker I'm not a BTS fan, but you'll see me headbanging smooth like butter Hey, I know the butter song, I hate that He said smooth like butter No, I mean the BTS bar was cool Oh, uh, cause I'm actually been immersed in the BTS From, yeah, Salem That's who I was talking about earlier, Kahuna And no, I don't have Salem Uh, but 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 that's it. I'm glad you brought her name up. That's who I was thinking about earlier when I said if she was here, she'd be able to teach me what they were saying. And she was supposed to teach me all the language every day, and she did not teach me the language every day. I was like, she taught me for like two days, and then she stopped teaching me. So I don't know what happened there, but I really wanted to learn the language. I know I just took this off track, y'all. I'll go back a little bit. But no, with the BTS bar, um, I heard butter, and I don't know why he said smooth like butter, because I hated that damn song. That's like the one BTS song I heard I could not stand. It was so poppy, and I do not rock with it. Two eyes shuttered, or grab a baseball bat and swing high like Luke Skywalker. I'm not a BTS fan, but you'll see me headbanging smooth, smooth like, like butter. Smash like water pounder, pineapple upside down and under. I'll make you eat the bat like a Chinese motherfucker. Oh. Go. Oh. this battle, right? Fucking prick. That's how the faggots in the Philippines are. They'll give you money just to suck your dick. <laughs> oh so, yeah, so right now, and we're, we're right towards the end, um, I, I got the, I, I got Flip Top winning the first one in part one, and then the, the second part, I got Kelly Smooth winning one, so right now they're tied one to one. And it's all coming down to this right here. But I personally like the way that he was able to add his personality in there. I'm talking about Flip Top. Added his personality in there. He, and I'm talking about for this round specifically, but the personality of it, uh, his punchlines, like he's got some fire, like, ooh, hitting punchlines going on in this one so right now i think i might have to give him the last final decision but i don't know if he's going last i don't know if cali smooth has another verse or not i think it's ending on flip top <laughs> Make sure the price is right because every dollar hits. So have a kiss hey, with the I'm fist saying? of the apocalypse. Do your toughest rituals. You are not Mr. Cup from the cloth no more, Miss Kiss. Once I put you back in your place with a lot of stitches. Okay, so feel the tightness under your... pressure. This is all the way massacre. Since you want to spend money just to die, Ocean Gate passengers. Oh. Oh. If you want to spend money just to die, Ocean Gate passengers. That is a fire bar and this was th hold on this was three years ago this was three years ago because we're dealing with things like that right now or how long ago did this come out when was oh three months ago okay never mind never mind that was the last video that was three years ago. <laughs> and that is the reason i do not fly i don't fly uh i've only ever flown one time in my life i've only flown one time in my life civilian wise but i've flown military wise now that one i kind of have to do that so that is what it is if <laughs> if i gotta go somewhere i gotta go somewhere right i can't really complain about that but i feel i feel better being in a military plane even though you really probably shouldn't because in a military plane if you are flying somewhere overseas or whatnot probably you probably should feel more uh, scaredness and whatnot, more like something would happen. But for some reason, I just feel safer that way. And it's because I actually know the pilot. And that's why I don't like flying on civilian planes. First off, I don't like heights, but it's not the height aspect for me. I don't like be not being in control of something. 
Like, I don't like not being in control of my life. You know, that's why I like driving. And I'll drive, pen out. Like, I was I was going to go on a cruise last year. It didn't end up happening, even though I paid $1,000 to do it. Uh, but it didn't happen because of my stupid job at the time. But, but I was going to drive to Texas. And I was actually going to stop at a strip club in every state from here to Texas. That was supposed to be the goal to stop to stop at every state strip club and see what it was like. I wasn't going to spend a lot of money, though. I was just going to go in there, order a drink and see what happens. <laughs> Want to spend money just to die? Ocean Gate passengers. I hate oh, you said that was the, the submarine disaster. I didn't know about the submarine disaster. Um, but I'd feel safer in a submarine than I would in a submarine. And while you're claiming to be a and while you're claiming to be a living legend that is trying hard to keep score, I'll be the living proof of the saying, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. You became champ by using recycled bars, bought you so you can do some lesser works. Narcissistic fuck that got no sense of worth. No matter how hard you try to step upwards, you're forever stuck on level one because you are nothing but a never was. Yeah. True story. <laughs> You've been dying to battle on flip top, right? You're not gonna be able to enter that mansion because before you can step inside the kingdom of gods, you gotta get past through Percival Jackson. I'm a lyrical assassin who will conquer more than you can imagine. I'm overcoming my famine. Cancel all the distraction. Witness my malevolent action. California extraction. You call this my English debut battle? I call this territorial expansion. He said California extraction. So he wants to. He wants to save California. I'm with Tool on the whole California aspect. You know, we reacted to a Tool song a while back. But uh, on the Tool song, uh, uh, he did not want to save California. You know, if there was like a disaster happening, I'm on Tool's side with that. So I don't know why he said California extraction. <laughs> I wouldn't be on that, but on that one. But that's him. Witness my malevolent action. California extraction, you call this my English debut battle? I call this territorial expansion! Please be humble! Remember between you and me, I got the higher ground like sick and plor. You said you, you said you owe your life, you said you owe your life to all the EMT, right? Nice man up here! Woo! Well, now you're facing an EMT who just graduated this year. Yeah. So tonight is the time to be grateful and say thank you, my dear, because another EMT just fucking saved your dying career. Oh! Dito gulpihin ng gasa magil ng tanggulay at magtapos kung itulak sa ilo pang pinakukay sa bicycle pa ilalim at hechat na bullseye. Yeah! I don't know what the hell you can say, but that flow was fire. We gotta hear that rap and flow. Tungan ang umay para sa akin di ka tunay dapat. Dito gulpihin ng gasa magil ng tanggulay at magtapos kung itulak sa ilo pang pinakukay sa bicycle pa ilalim at hechat na bullseye. So that's the end of it. Who do you guys think won? I'm not even gonna put I don't know if they if they say who won or not in battle rap, but I'm not gonna keep that up because I wanna see what you guys think. I think Flip Top won the first round. I think Kelly Smooth won the second round. And I think I want to give it a little bit more to Flip Top on the third round just because of like the punchlines and stuff going on. Um, in the in the way he was able to like flip a lot of things. But I don't know because the third round, it was like both of them weren't really, they both kind of like took time away from the punchlines and the battling to kind of speak about topics they wanted to get out 
So it was kind of hard to judge that third one. But I'm going to slightly give it to Flip Top. But again, I could be completely wrong on that because I'm not immersed in battle rap in the first place. So I'm, I was only like specifically looking for just the punchlines. I don't care about the antics going on in the background. I don't care about the crowd, what the crowd has to think going on in the background. Um, I don't care about, like, I like, I like that Flip Top can bring a lot of personality in there, but there was a lot of times where, like, he would bring his personality in there, and it wasn't leading up to anything. And then, but there was times that he did that, too, and it was leading up to a fire punchline. So, that's my analysis on it, uh, and that's my take on it. And that video was, or is, because I'm still recording, 24 minutes was the video itself, so I'm pro I'm just going to say this now on live streams. I just wanted to end it here uh, because I already did a part one and then I would have had to do I would have had to do the same video again on a third live. Uh, but I'm not going to do 25 like I'm not doing videos over 10 minutes ever on lives. Just as a future thing, I'm going to put that in the description at the end, unless it's a song that is like specifically there's a big reason for it being a little bit over 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything over uh, 10 minutes on lives because we have a lot of requests. And thank you, Elena. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Elena, for the request. I've seen you sent it. I don't know why my alert box isn't popping up right now, but it is what it is. Um, but I do have the list up. So I've seen that you sent some requests. So thank you for that. And but that's the reason why I'm not going to do any video over 10 minutes uh, because we get a lot of requests and then it takes a lot of time out. And then I talk a lot in between reactions as well. So that just makes it it makes it so much harder and it prolongs a lot of things. But that was cool to check out. I'm glad we got to the end of it and I already gave my analysis. So thank you for that. Uh, Kahuna, I appreciate it.